Daily Devotion And I just would like to share about a good race that ends up well. It might be tayo po mga kapatid ay nabubuhay sa panahon na kung saan nagugulat tayo sa mga bagay-bagay na nangyayari. Na kung luluduin natin at bibigyan natin ng pananaw, atin pong marirealize na talagang we are getting nearer and nearer to what we call end of everything because God will be coming so soon. We don't know when. Even this pandemic, we don't know when will this end. But one thing for sure, ang ating buhay parang race. Simulat sa pula tayo naging tao, naging baby, lumaki at nagkaisip at nagkaroon na ng ating sariling buhay. Parang ito'y takbuhin. Nang minsan, tayo napapagod, napapagal, nadadapa. Naalala ko lang si David na sinabi niya, Seven times I fall, but seven times I will arise. That's why I will share to you this teaching to remind us God still be good even in this time of pandemic. We need to, give, need to fight the good fight of faith that God has begun into our lives. As we continue to look upon Jesus, the author and the finishers of our faith. Ang ating title is about a good race that ends up well. Sabi po ng Hebrew chapter 12 verse 1 and 2. Let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us. Looking to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. So ito pa yung magandang palala sa iyo at sa akin. Lalo din kita tayo patuloy pa rin nakikipaglabat. It, it, it has been two years now that we have been fighting for this for the effect of this COVID-19. Kaya nga sabi ng Hebrew 12 verse 1 and 2, Let us run with perseverance. Tumakbo tayo ng may pagtsatsaga, may pagtitiis, sapagkat ang pagtsatsaga ay nagbubunga ng, pagta, ng katatagan at ang pagtatagan ay nagbubunga ng isang magandang karakter sa buhay natin para matapos natin ang takbuhing nasa ating harapan. At alam naman natin ang strategy, the good strategy, that we need to do is always look upon Jesus. Do not look at the bigness of your problem from right to left to right, but always look upon Jesus because upon that name of Jesus, no matter what, how big your problem that you're countering, mas malaki ang Diyos dyan. Greater is He that is in you than He who is in the world. Mas dakilat makapangyari ng Diyos na tinanggap mo, na pinaglilingkuran mo, na nasa puso mo than He pertaining to the devil who are actually destroying us. Kaya laban lang, takbo lang, madapa, bangon, matuto sa nakaraan, matuto sa pagkakamali, and finish the race. Well, para ho sa akin, lagi kong sinasabi yan, Christianity is not a matter of how we start. Well, the good start is that we got born again. But that, but that is a, only a good start. We need to move. We need to grow. Because everything that is not moving will die and everything that is not moving, there is a danger that you will stink. Ibig sabihin, pwede tayong bumaho sa harapan ng Panginoon. Ang mga bababango sa piling ng Diyos eh, yung mga taong nabubuhay ayon sa kalooban ng Panginoon. A good race that must ends up well. Ang dami nating nakitang nagsimula ng tama, pero natapos na mali. Marami tayong nababalitaan, ano? mga pastor, Tama naman nung nagsimula. At nung matapos, siya na yung Kristo. Nung matapos, siya na yung God the Father. Nung natapos, kulto na ang pinagdaanan. Nangyayari po yan, mga kapatid. In a race, what counts is how we end. Katulad na sinasabi ko po kanina, Christianity is not a matter of how, how we start, but it, it is a matter of how we end. What matters most is that how you are going to end. Sometimes due to pressures and problems, we want to give up. We better surrender all to God because let us always acknowledge the fact that apart from the Lord, we can really do nothing. We better surrender all to God and accept that without God, we can do nothing. Lagi nating aminin na kung hiwalay ang Panginoon sa atin, 
wala po tayong magagawa. If you would like to finish the race that God had already started in your life and you want to end up well, sabi ng John 15 verse 5, Apart from me, you can do nothing. That's why you need to trust in the Lord. And one of my favorite verse is trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all the ways, acknowledge Him and then God will direct your paths. In Psalms 28 verse 7, The Lord is my strength and my shield. Kaya kung ang Diyos ang nangunguna sa iyo, Siya ang iyong protection, Siya ang iyong kalakasan, you can finish the race that God had already started in your life. In Matthew 18 verse 4, Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of God. Patuloy nating aminin sa ating buhay na kung hiwalay ang Panginoon at kung hindi tayo magiging katulad ng isang bata, sino ba ang bata? Sabi ni Jesus Christ, ang bata'y mapagtiwala. Ang bata'y madaling manampalataya. Ang bata'y madaling sumunod. Ang bata'y merong humility and may humbleness at inaamin niya kung siya'y hiwalay sa kanyang Diyos. Wala tayong magagawa. The reason why we cannot move on in this life, it is because we concentrate looking on our failures. Na, 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 naranasan niyo na bang makakita ng tumatakbo sa race? Na tumatakbo siyang pabaliktad, paurong, at laging tinitignan ang kanyang likod? May gumawa po ng ganyan eh. Only in seconds, naunahan tuloy siya nung nasa likuran niya. Kaya do that look. Yes, we have a lot of failures in our lives. But failures is a part of growing. Ang failures so natin, pwede tayong, we can learn from our mistake, we can learn from our failures, and it can help us build us up if we always look at it on the right way. Kaya tamang Romans 8.28, that all things work together for good to them that love God according to His purpose. Remember, ang pagsisisi ay hindi laging nasa una, ang pagsisisi ay laging nasa huli. We will be judged according to our deeds done on earth. Tandaan niyo po yan. Darating ang oras na harap tayo sa Diyos face to face and God will gonna judge everything that you have said that they've been done on earth. Pangalawa, we will be judged uh, how we fulfill the purposes of God in our lives. Nabuhay ka ba para sa sarili mo lang? No? O nabuhay ka para sa Diyos? At ang mga nabuhay para sa Diyos, sa langit, sila'y pararangalan. They are going to receive it can be seven crowns. Kaya sabi ng Bible, pararangalan ko ang nagpaparangal sa akin. Ngunit ang Diyos ay may prinsipyo, pababayaan din naman niya ang tumatalikod at nagpapabaya sa kanya. God may ask, what have you done in your life? Pagharap natin sa Diyos, these are the questions that He is going to ask you. What did you do with the opportunities given to you on earth? Ano bang ginawa mo sa pagkakataon, sa oras na ibinigay sa iyo ng Panginoon? Do you waste it? Do you spend it? Or do you use your time to invest it so that you can improve yourself, so that you can serve God, that even serve the people? We are all given, each one of us, 24 hours a day. And what do we do with those 24 hours? Some spend time in watching TV, playing sports. There's nothing wrong with playing sports. You O kaya hindi naman na manood ng TV, wag lang buong magdamag na wala na tayong time to pray, wala na tayong time to read the Bible, video games, mulling, shopping, etc. Fulfilling only the fleshly desires. Naalala ko tuloy yung sinabi ng Bible, the Spirit is willing, gusto ng Spirit ang magpray, gusto ng Spirit ang uh, uh, magbasa ng Biblia, pero ang gusto ng katawan matulog, magpahinga at maging tamad. Kaya ma- Tatlong bagay po gusto ko pong iwan sa atin bago tayo matapos. What are the three things to consider to run a good race and complete God's purposes in our lives? Sabi po sa number one, yes, you need to have a character. And this character will not be changed, will not be um, mag-improve at hindi magbago kung hindi naman din tayo dumanas ng problema. Kaya nga sabi ng James 1, Magala kayo kapag kayo dumaranas sa iba-ibang pagsubok dahil alam ninyo, matapos na niyong pagtagumpayan niyan, doon kayo mababagong buhay, doon niyo matututunan na kung hiwalay ang Diyos sa buhay ninyo, wala kayong magagawa. That's why character will be changed. Character can be transformed. It is the most essential aspect of our lives. Do we live uprightly? Nabubuhay po tayo ng tama? Do we do God's will? Ang ginagawa ba natin ay yung sarili nating kagustuhan O yung ginawa din natin, yung ginagawa ni Jesus, Lord, let your will be done, 
not my will. Because that is a good character. It is a character of humility. A character of, of humbleness, of brokenness. That you understand that without God, you can do nothing. In the book of Proverbs 22 verse 1, A good name is more desirable than the great riches. To be esteemed is better than silver or gold. Aanihin mo na ikay mayaman, sikat, ang dami mong pera, pero sinusuka ka naman ng mga tao because they know that you're a corrupt person. They know that you have a bad person. Magandang may magandang pangalan na yung iningatan, inalagaan dahil binago ka ng Panginoon. A good name is more than desirable than a great riches. That's why having a good character is one of the things that we need to consider to run a good race and ends up well. Walang nagtagumpay na may masamang pag-uugali. Walang nagtagumpay na na-promote sa trabaho na may samang pag-uugali. That's why that is the number one ingredients. If you want to end up well, you need to have a good character. Song of Songs 1.6 says, The Shulamite says, They made me the keeper of the vineyards, but my own vineyard I have neglected. Mahirap po kasi yung nag-aalaga tayo ng iba, pero napabayaan na natin ang ating sariling pananampalataya. Kaya nga sabi ni Pablo eh, huwag niyong asamin na maging tagapagturo. Dahil pag kayo naging tagapagturo at kayo nagkamali na itinuro sa tao, ang masuhusgahan na mas mabigat ay yung maling nagturo. Kasi yung mga tinuturoan natin, sumusunod lang yan eh. Nakikinig lang sila. That's why we need to have a good character with humility, with brokenness. A heart shall be filled with the Holy Spirit because the only thing that can attract the Holy Spirit to be filled with the Holy Spirit for us to walk in the Spirit if you have a good character, if you have a broken heart, inaamin mo na kung hiwala yung Panginoon sa buhay mo, wala kang magagawa. Galatians 5.22-23 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness and faithfulness, and gentleness and self-control. And against such things, there is no law. We must live in holiness. Even in Galatians 5.19-21 The act of sinful nature or abuse, ano po ba yung mga ayaw ng Panginoon? The sexual immorality, impurity, debauchery, idolatry, and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, pits of rage, selfish ambition, and dissensions, no? Functions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you, listen very carefully. I warn you, yung mga binagit natin ng una, I warn you that those who live like this, will not inherit the kingdom of God. Sa Tagalog, hindi makakapasok ng langit ang mga nabubuhay sa mga binanggit nating mga fleshly desire. God has given us grace to overcome sin and justly naman, bibigyan na niya tayo ng tapang at lakas para to say no to sin, to say no against the works of darkness and follow the Lord, look upon Jesus, then you can finish the race. And nothing we can excuse why we cannot obey. To God be the glory.